Hi, and hello, folks. My name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me MH4, and I think we need to talk about Rivals of Ether 2. So I'm recording this on April 1st, 2022, and the trailer for Rivals 2 has just dropped today, the first trailer ever, not including like the sneak peeks from previous Rivals Directs. And I gotta say, it looks phenomenal. <laughs> it looks like a great video game. It looks great. You can see right there, it looks awesome. But there's three things that worry me. It's not the art style. I love the cell shading. I think it's cell shading, whatever. Uh, it looks great. The gameplay still looks very fast paced and fun. For Ether Studios' first 3D project, this is looking like it's going to be great. But I'm worried about some extra features that are being added to Rivals 2 that weren't in Rivals 1. Mainly shields, grabs, and ledges. Now, I know what you're thinking, Christian, it's not a big deal. It's just a video game, and you're right. But I feel like by adding these mechanics, it's not gonna feel like Rivals anymore. Part of what made Rivals special in my eyes is what it does differently from Smash Brothers. And what it does differently from Smash Brothers is it strips back certain mechanics that are a core part of Smash's identity, but aren't necessarily needed to make a good platform fighter while also adding its own twist in the whole like stage manipulation and elemental stuff, all that jazz. I'm just a little worried that by throwing in these elements of Smash Bros. DNA, it's going to not feel like Rivals anymore. And of course, not feeling like the first game isn't necessarily bad. I'm just worried that this isn't going to be necessarily a change that I enjoy very much. Now, again, don't get me wrong, it's not necessarily a bad change. I do think this is going to make Rivals 2 a lot more newcomer friendly. And that's also with the 3D graphics. Seeing 3D graphics and more Smash Bros like mechanics is definitely going to be a big turn on for new players. Also, I'm pretty sure Editor Christian put this up on screen if it's true. And if it's not true, then this won't go in the video. Dan Furnacy said that the lack of things like grabs and shields was because of uh, technical limitations on his end, not because he didn't want them in the game which is understandable. But I think that technical limitation bred a game that's very fun and fast paced and fluid and one that I love. I am just worried that it's not going to live up to the standard that Rivals 1 has set in my mind. Also, I am very worried about how Workshop implementation is going to be handled because Workshop is a big part of Rivals 1 to the point where Workshop characters have been added to the base roster. I'm hopeful that workshop support is just as, if not more robust in Rivals 2. Am I still looking forward to Rivals 2 despite my hesitation with the new mechanics? Absolutely, it looks phenomenal. It looks like a wonderful game. Even from that first trailer, it just looks spectacular. And that's already because Rivals is spectacular, but the presentation on this is just wow. While I'm talking about this, I may as well talk about the rest of the Rivals Direct. Sambert Plush is the best April Fool's joke ever. Dungeons of Ether looks cool. What else was announced? I was hoping we were going to see an announcement of a physical release of the Tales of Ether comics because I'm holding out till there is a physical release. Not that I don't want to support the comics. I just really want my comics physically. I don't like ebooks. Oh, Craig getting into Freemakers. I popped off. <laughs> Dude, that looks so good. It looks so good. Freemakers looks so good. I'm so glad I backed that Kickstarter. Those are my thoughts on the Rivals Direct. Also, my thoughts on Rivals 2 state of it. And I think this game is going to fulfill Dan's vision of what he wanted Rivals 1 to be. However, I hope that it can still effectively capture the spirit of Rivals 1 and its combat first style gameplay. I don't know why I said that like there was more sentence. There wasn't more sentence. I haven't watched the live Q&A, so if they say anything in the live Q&A about anything that's relevant, then I'll splice more footage in. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I've been Christian Sasser. You probably didn't call me MH4. And all right, bye-bye.